Adding the My Sourcing Event tile to your PeopleSoft Procurement Operations homepage is an easy way for your procurement organization to research, evaluate, and purchase services, supplies, and equipment to meet the needs of your company. You can view the PeopleSoft Procurement Operations homepage and the My Sourcing Events tile from a desktop, tablet device, or a smartphone. For today's demonstration, James is a procurement buyer in your organization. He's away from his office and wants to see if there are any sourcing events that need his attention. James logs into PeopleSoft using his smartphone. He navigates the same way he would from his desktop, but the pages appear slightly differently to support the smaller display. Tapping on the employee self-service banner, James can move from his home page to the procurement operations page. James has added the My Sourcing Events tile to his procurement operations home page. You personalize the tiles on the procurement operations page to see the results you need so another user probably has different tiles and preferences on their home page. In this case, James arranged his procurement operations home page to help him quickly and easily access the things that are most important to him. Notice the event alert on James' My Sourcing Event tile. The number of events you see is determined by your user preference settings. For the My Sourcing Event tile, you can select the items, categories, business units, buyers, and more that you want to monitor. You can choose when to receive alerts based on an event's end date, or even filter events by dollar amount. All of which makes the My Sourcing Events tile a convenient tool for every procurement user in role. Let's tap on the My Sourcing Event tile to see what needs attention. On the My Sourcing Event page, James can view details of an event or open a summary view of the events he's monitoring. The Sourcing Events panel shows you basic information about the event. Events with a warning icon make it easy to identify potential issues. However, when you're monitoring a large number of events, scrolling through them all may not be very efficient. You change the field shown by tapping the Change Display Field icon. James decides to hide a few fields in order to see more events at one time. Click Done to view the changes. The same events are displayed, but now they show information relevant to James. This view is better, but James wants to see only the events that have warning alerts. You can do this using the filter icon. Changing the Show Warning Only slide bar activates the filter. If there are no other filters needed, tap the Done button. With the filter in place, when James returns to the My Sourcing Events page, he finds that his event count has decreased. Tap the Sort icon to change the order of the results. In this case, James chooses the End Date option, which immediately changes the order of the results. Tap the selected option again to change the order from ascending to descending. James can now start reviewing each of these events. Selecting an event, the summary window closes and the details of the event appear. Scrolling through the event, notice that the warning indicates that the event will end soon. You can also see that the event needed at least three bidders, or responses, and there have been four responses. The system gives you this information in two different ways. First, you can compare the minimum response value to the total bidder's amount. Second, back on the event summary page, you can see the value for the bidder's response field. In this case, it shows there are four responses and only three are required. To find out who responded to this event, James expands the Number of Bidders Invited section, which opens a new window with this information. The system shows you who accepted or declined the invitation, and the suppliers that have not yet responded. James can take action by sending an email to a supplier, or add a supplier to the supplier watch list. For today, there are four invitations that have not been received. James decides to send an email to alert the supplier to complete their bid before the event closes. James taps on the Action icon and chooses Notify. This opens a new window. Information from the event is already in the email, but James can modify the email to communicate the urgency to respond to the event. Next, James would like to see who's winning this event. He expands the Total Bidders Responded section. However, this event contains a sealed bid. An error message lets James know that sealed bids can only be viewed after the event has ended. Now, James is ready to review the next event. James selects another event from the Sourcing Events panel. James quickly notices that there are multiple alerts for this event. This event is set to expire in two days, but what's more important is that the event requires at least three bids, and so far there are none. James decides that the best solution is to extend the event and review the invitations linked to the event. To extend the event, James needs to launch the event workbench. Start by choosing the related action icon next to the event ID and then selecting the event workbench. 
The event workbench opens in a new window with all of the pertinent event information. Clicking the Edit Event icon lets you edit the event details. However, James decides to edit the event once he returns to his office. So he taps My Sourcing Events in the banner to return to the My Sourcing Events page and continue his review. Reviewing another event, James notices that the event is due to end in a day. Since the minimum number of bids has been met, James decides to view the bids. He does this by expanding the Total Bidders Responding section. Because this event is not sealed, the bids are displayed. James makes a note to check back later to start the analysis and award this event. Notice that the bids for this event are ranked by bid factor score rather than amount. The PeopleSoft My Sourcing Events tile provides your procurement buyers with a one-stop shop for all of their sourcing events and makes their jobs much easier.